Right then guys, BMW M3 looks a hell of a thing. Uh, I love the color combination. I think it looks real well. Just landed with us earlier today. Not collected by us, it was driven here by the uh, lady and gentleman that owned the car. So there we have it. I've taken a photograph of of that for you and a photograph of that one there for you but you can also pause the video and watch that can't you so we'll have a quick look in the inside and I'll take you on a little tour of the outside couldn't see any issues inside a nice um, a nice valley would sort that out just wants a bit of a hoover around A little bit of wear where they do pick it up on where your your thumbnail doesn't it gets the end there a little bit of wear there a little bit of wear there but nothing very minor uh, nice on the wheel what we got on here 104.7 84,000 miles we've got some history as well there guys but you know our policy on miles but we'll come to that in a minute okay. Certainly sounds well, obviously, six speed manual, you've spotted that one already. So, that's that. The seats and things were working, windows were working, the usual electric things, but to be fair, as you guys know, they don't really suffer with any electrical gremlins, do they? Not as far as I'm aware, anyway. We've had a few come through, and I know plenty of friends that have run these things and have some fun with them, and doesn't seem to be uh, a lot of problem with these. M5s maybe, but um, M3s. Uh, and just something missing there. I can't for the life of me think what should go there. No, I can't think. But anyway, I'm sure that's available. So you can make up a full toolkit fairly easily on that. Sandals on the plate. Getting all nice on the shut. Door cards. Looks a real level car, to be fair. Uh, now we ask, uh, we ask vendors, owners, to fill these out. So we've got engine good, gearbox good, axle good, underside good, brakes good, steering good, electric good. Uh, lots of photos for regarding a respray and restoration. Fifteen thousand spent on the car in the last eighteen we in late last eighteen months, and bills with folder. Wow, look at that. Well, that's why she looks like she does. And with regards to look like she does, we'll have a little bit of a tour around the outside. I didn't book the car in, I only briefly met the lady and gentleman. Um, but that's obviously why she looks fantastic if it's had that sort of expenditure. Pretty mark free. I couldn't see any marks on it. No, it's a hellish looking thing, isn't it? Um, I've got the service book and folder here. You have to just speak with the office down at Thorns and Dow, at our main branch down there, because I assume the uh, the 15k expenditure and other paperwork has been uh, entry forms have all been completed down there, and the cars come up here to our storage facility at Pickering um, to um, to stay nice and safe. So, be but before I sign off, I did get all the paperwork out of the glove box and things that's here so all this paperwork there's obviously going to be more but this is all with the car which is um, obviously the the going from the leather wallet to a spare key to the usual array of booklets to a mixture of MOT history parts invoices some sales um, sales some uh, service stuff there by the looks of things carry out oh an oil leak one there camber one so there's a mixed bag of bits and pieces there predominantly MOT history and so forth it would appear and then most importantly we've got the service book here so we've got the taking delivery stamp there sorry and then we've got a couple of brake fluid and coolant services there or three in fact 
and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stamps in the book last at 82,200. Now there's also going to be, judging by those notes that were put on the window, there's also going to be um, invoices and so forth, I would think, to show you the expenditure on the car. So please be sure and either drop an email down to the office or obviously what you're going to do, let's face it, you've got three weeks to do it, you're going to come and have a look at the car, aren't you? Make sure it's one for you. And then while you're here, you can bob down to the main office and look through the folder of paperwork that we've got. So then there's no confusion. That's what we've got. That's what comes with the car. There you go. So you've got three weeks, guys, to come and have a look at this car. It's here now. It looks a hell of a thing. I'm going to take some more photographs for you. And then go from there. Thank you.